Hello, I'm Bonnie and welcome back. Uh, this is our employer highlight series. Uh, and today we're talking to Peter, Peter, Ra say it again. I, 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 you just told me how to say your name. Peter Rake. It's Peter Rake. Rake. Right. Yeah. It's Rake. That sounds kind of, that sounds kind of rock and roll actually when you say it. Peter, Peter Rake. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'm still dreaming of that part, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> the main part is there. Okay, so the reason why I am picking on you today is because uh, I know, we, so we started this professional networking channel on Angular Nation. And I was just trying, I told all the people looking for jobs and hiring to go there and post and hopefully they'll find each other. And I really liked your post. And so I reached out to you and talked to you a little bit more about your company and what you guys are doing. And, uh, and I want to just talk about what you're doing because I think it sounds like a really great opportunity for someone uh, and so I'm just going to ask you questions about what, you know, what your team's working on and that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, it'll be fun. So let's just start out with what does your company do? Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for inviting me. Uh, at first. You're welcome. Um, that's, uh, that's really nice. Um, well, um, I've been working on uh, Pandora. I'm, uh, I'm the CTO uh, of, of the company, one of the founders. Uh, was founded uh, four years ago, and uh, we're trying to accomplish something new uh, and not just uh, creating software, but making a difference in the world, uh, trying to help uh, cope against uh, um, uh, criminality and, and other uh, stuff uh, which concern uh, uh, people. And, uh, the, the company is called Pandora Intelligence, uh, and intelligence is, uh, is, is, is the part where um, I, I get triggered by, my, uh, by myself, uh, because intelligence is, is something, if you ask people what is intelligence, you get uh, a ton of definitions, and we have our own def definition. And um, I have loaded a small example uh, here, perhaps you can share my screen. Uh, in this example, uh, it shows a little bit of what Pandora makes uh, Pandora, because uh, what Pandora is trying to do is uh, uh, getting uh, uh, structured and unstructured data in such a shape that we can do um, uh, reasoning with it. We can induce and deduce uh, with that data and make assumptions to help uh, prevent uh, different kinds of uh, criminality, crime and, and other stuff. Here's a small example of a, of a small snippet of, of text, uh, which got parsed uh, by one of our microservices, which does uh, named entity recognition. The, the text is in Dutch. Uh, so there are several uh, entities recognized here in this, uh, this whole thing. I'm now confirming that the entities in this story are the ones I want to use. And basically what I'm trying to do now is structuring this whole text so I understand what this text is about. For example, uh, here it says that Pim Fortuyn uh, was living in, in Rotterdam. And one of the things that is here happening is that I can choose all the things. We are uh, working very hard uh, to make the entity recognition even smarter and also do the uh, semantic role labeling, so uh, defining all the relationships. And through this process, we, we, we learn how to understand those texts and all the, all the data. And once that part is done, um, the Pandora intelligence tries to uh, build a whole graph of information and getting all the parts out for, for this example, just a small example. There are people, there are companies, there's a location, there are vulnerable uh, uh, locations here in uh, the, the whole picture. And uh, we try to help uh, understanding the, the, the data inside and really um, uh, um, be actionable uh, with with the data, so uh, we we actually understand what it means and how it should be uh, used uh, by our, our customers. So that's that's a very very brief and small introduction of what Pandora does. Trying to that's be very cool. Okay, uh, what about you? What's your role in the company? Um, well, I'm, I'm CTO. Um, from my background, uh, I, I'm also a developer. I started developing uh, from an early age and uh, uh, currently in the role of CTO. Still do development, uh, usually on the on the back end. Uh, also some small uh, front end and, and 
um, well, that's my role. I have a great team uh, doing uh, the, the actual hard work uh, and, and, and searching for new team, uh, team uh, members, of course. Uh, okay, what's your team working on right now? You, we talked about, uh, how do you say his name, Guido? Guido, Guido Kester. Guido. Yeah. We're gonna pick on him. I gotta meet that guy. Yeah, yeah, you should. He's a, he's a great guy. Um, He's our uh, lead uh, UI uh, engineer, and um, he's currently working on uh, restructuring uh, our solution uh, because what we uh, are, are running into is that um, the, the amount of data uh, coming through the solution uh, is, is so, so much that uh, we see performance hiccups and we want to uh, get rid of them so we can build new uh, great experiences uh, in our Angular UI. All right. Uh, okay, so we know that you're hiring. Let's talk about that. What kind of help? Uh, let's. How many? How many positions do you have? Are you looking for seniors or juniors or both or what's up with that? Yeah, the the whole uh, uh, the spectrum of developers is uh, is what we are aiming at. Um, we are divided in, th in three sections. We have a research and development area where we do our cognitive services. We have a back end team and we have a front end team. And for both the, um, the, the environments, we need uh, uh, new people in. And especially we are looking also for uh, new Angular uh, uh, developers uh, to help uh, uh, grow the team and help on the, 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 the special UIs we want and the special experiences we want to provide with uh, our unique way of thinking. Awesome. Uh, do you have any restrictions? You looking for people? Are you are you open to remote? Is it only in the Netherlands, or what's what's the situation there? It's it's both. Uh, we already have uh, a group of uh, international developers uh, working uh, on us on, on full time basis. Um, so uh, we are looking both here in in the Netherlands. Uh, we even have uh, someone from from Belgium uh, working uh, for us. Um, in the team. So it's a combination of, of both. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, different nationalities in the, in the team, uh, which make uh, uh, and give it a, a very, um, how do you say that, uh, the, the environment is, 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 is quite Dynamic. nice, a challenge. Okay, so, so you would be open to 100% full-time remote from someone living somewhere else other than the Netherlands? Yeah, and what I'd like to say is that we, we not only emphasize this on the, on the, the, the tech stack, uh, but also on the personality. We, we try to accomplish something uh, that's not just building an application and, and earning mo money, uh, but the, the, the whole emphasis is, is in doing something we believe in. And we uh, have a group of people uh, that are similar. So there is a lot of... Uh, um, uh, bonding and uh, a lot of energy going on in the team uh, because of that. So it's not just the, the tech stack uh, which needs to do fit, but also uh, that you feel uh, connected to us, uh, what we do and with the team. Okay, I didn't prepare, uh, I didn't have this question. We went through the questions before, but I didn't ask you about this question, but I'm just gonna throw this, uh, this curveball at you. What, so if you're looking for personality, what like what quality really would make you say this is the person that I want to hire? It's it's a it's a combination of being critical and and and, and being uh, cooperative. So uh, we have people uh, with uh, the the meetings we we have we do that that uh, across uh, the the different teams uh, to challenge each other. Uh, but still, uh, it's always emphasized on uh, getting the best out of uh, the the other person. And uh, we, we, I haven't shown you a lot from the uh, solution uh, we, we bring with our platform, but it is quite complex. And we have some very smart people, but it's not only their, their brain uh, we, uh, uh, we love, uh, but it is also the approach they take uh, in, in seeing uh, new opportunities of doing things and stepping out of their uh, own uh, boundaries and, and, and helping each other, each other out. That's, that's so important. Uh, the team is only 30 persons big uh, and doing amazing stuff uh, uh, together.
That sounds amazing. Okay, so here's a little maybe harder question. What what do you want to avoid? What are you looking for? What are you like really hoping not to have on your team as far as personality is concerned? I think this one might be obvious, but like the unfriendly people who are mad all the time. Yeah. We don't want yeah, that. Yeah, 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 right. Um, well, um, you need an e ego, uh, but the, the ego should not be uh, uh, the, 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 the prime thing. Um, it's, it's all about a, a good balance uh, between uh, the skill set and uh, the, the personality. Um, and, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking for someone who uh, fits uh, in, the, in both the personality and the skill set. I'm, I don't know how to say it differently. I, I think I know what you're talking about because I've met a lot of people, especially in the, in the Angular community and even on the Angular team who are so talented but then they're also so humble. And it's like after you work with people that are really, really good and they're so friendly and so humble, it's really hard to tolerate a, 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 um, uh, arrogant people after that. Because it's like, you don't have to be like that. You know, let's just all be friendly and, and treat each other with respect. Um, I think that's good. Yeah. I love that. And perhaps now it sounds like I'm only looking at the, for, for the how do you call it, the top dogs? Uh, yeah, the, a, big, the big dogs. Think? But that's that's not the case. We we had some students coming in from uh, doing uh, assignments uh, from still uh, at the university, uh, and they they are trained by by our own and uh, among us. So uh, that's the reason why when you ask me what do I are you looking for, it's the, the complete skill. It's it's when there's a fit with the person uh, and the and the the. the also, the, the the level is there. Then we will uh, succeed together in, in making it fit. So you do have openings, potential openings for junior developers as well. Yes, we do. Yep. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, so, and I think we've kind of talked about this. Um, the next question is, how would you describe your team culture? We, we talked about that, but is there anything that you want to add? No, I like the blend. Uh, we have people uh, from uh, from Belgium. Uh, we have people from Argentina. We have from the Ukraine uh, uh, persons. Uh, so there's a whole blend of of, of people and uh, all the different aspects. Because we we are well, it's a bit big, but we are trying to understand the world with our platform. Uh, that's a big ambition, and all the different aspects coming in from all the, those different people. Uh, that's what makes uh, makes us uh, uh, go forward um, like we do. That's amazing. Okay, so last question: uh, How should people apply? I, I met you on Angular Nation. Can they? So their professional networking channel uh, has you posted there. Can they just reach out to you directly? Yes, please. Um, I, I love to have a good talk and just uh, get to know people and, and seeing if there's a, a fit. Uh, it should be a, a, a low, there's no boundary or no, no uh, yeah, it, it sounds good. It's amazing. Well, I think you're awesome. I think that uh, what your company is working on is, it looks really cool. It sounds really cool. I like the whole the, the interface looks good and, and it's it's interesting. Um, I really like the uh, the team culture and I think it sounds like a great opportunity. It's not one a great opportunity. How many how many people are you hiring this year? Next eight. year. Next year. Eight. Eight, eight people. So we have eight great opportunities. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you're looking for a job, you got to talk to this guy. This is amazing. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate you spending time with me and uh, and talking about this. And I hope that you find eight amazing developers and uh, that you guys continue to grow. I don't see how you how you won't because it sounds it sounds like you guys are doing pretty cool stuff over there. Uh, Bunny, and uh, thanks thanks for all the energy and uh, the great talks with you. Uh, excellent. Thank Absolutely, you. my pleasure. All right, thanks, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.